Hello everybody, my name is Francesco, this is Movement Monastery, and today we're going to be working on the A-Twist. And I want to give a big shout out to Zahid Shah from India. Uh, he's the one that said he would like me to do an aerial twist tutorial. So this one's going to be covering aerial twist um, and we will also be covering Webster twist or Webster 180 because those two have a lot in common and based on your flexibility and what you already know, you're going to have to choose one over the other probably. Uh, we will also talk about if you already have a butterfly twist or a butterfly kick, how you can use that to get an aerial twist as well. So enough about that, let's get started. Now to do this skill, you're gonna need either a front Webster without grabbing your legs, you're gonna need a gymnastics aerial, or you're going to need to do a tricking aerial or a capoeira style aerial. So long as your head can get underneath your hips and that your hips are going over the top of your head, that's the same thing I just said, I just said it backwards, I sound intelligent. So you need to get one of those types of skills first in order to move on toward the next part of this, which is the twisting element of it. So make sure you have that first. Now what I'm gonna do is show you the approach that I think will get you the skill the quickest. There are other ways to get this skill, but I really want everyone to be able to do it first and then you can clean it up and explore other styles later. So in my opinion, the gymnastic style aerial is probably gonna make it the hardest way for you to be able to get this skill because an aerial actually starts twisting you the other direction a little bit in the middle of the skill. It's, it's kind of a weird skill. It makes you turn the other way. So it's a lot harder for you to find that twisting mechanic doing a traditional aerial than it is if you're thinking more of the Webster setup or if you're thinking more of the butterfly twist or capoeira style aerial because those are going to help you twist more. The reason being is that with the front Webster setup you get a lot more height and you don't have to think about twisting as much from that. You already know what it feels like to flip forward and so adding a twist to it's going to be a little bit easier. And then with the capoeira style aerial or the beach twist style aerial um, those ones are already kind of twisting one direction and they don't go into the other realm so it's harder to confuse where you are in space. So let's go ahead and go with that. I want you to think about if, you're, if, you, are, if you are a gymnast and you want to get this skill then you shouldn't have too much of a problem because you've probably done a lot of training already in the aerial but if you're someone who hasn't had a lot of training in that I wouldn't suggest going after it. Also, if you have a hard time with flexibility, the gymnastic style aerial is gonna make it harder for you. So if you're someone struggling with that, just keep that in mind. You need to have a little bit more flexibility. If you wanna go after the traditional gymnastic style aerial twist or the, um, or the wushu style aerial twist, you're going to have to work on your flexibility. So just keep that in mind. I will probably put up a strict version of this as an ancillary, um, video for you to look at later on, but for now we're covering, like I said, the front Webster setup. Those of you in gymnastics, that would be the front aerial setup, and then also covering the Capoeira style aerial or the B-Twist style aerial. So without waiting any longer, let's go ahead and cover the basics you need for this skill. First of all, you can see right here that I'm doing this hollow body roll, hollow body spin, going side to side. That shape change you go from an arch into a hollow is going to help you with your twisting. So it's really important that you understand that in this skill in particular, when you're kicking one leg back, as I show here on the side laying down, I have one leg extended back, you're going to be twisting toward your jumping leg. So if you push off your left leg for your aerial or your Webster, you're going to be twisting left. If, you want to, if you're a right side twister, you're going to have to approach the skill differently. That's more of a rise style twisting technique, and I do know how to teach that as well, but it's a little bit different of a feeling. Um, and it's actually a little bit easier to twist that way because you're already going toward the twisting leg. So just keep that in mind, that's gonna be a separate tutorial. And I actually have video of me doing every single type of setup, whether it's Webster, aerial, rise technique, or other side, or toward the kicking leg of the Webster and also doing a punch into it as well. So I have video of that, I'm gonna place it over this uh, so you can see what I'm talking about. But that's gonna be another tutorial because it's gonna take a while to explain it. Uh, so you saw me doing that hollow body twist on the ground. Now the reason why I'm doing it also with one leg extended behind me is because that's going to emulate the position you're going to be in prior to twisting an aerial twist. So just keep that in mind as well that you're going to want to practice these shapes prior to doing the skill itself. The next thing you want to be able to do is you want to have your skill to travel really high. 
Now we're going to be mainly covering this going off something because this skill on the ground is actually quite difficult to do and I want to make sure that everybody lands this skill safely the first couple of times. So we're going to either be doing this off of a ledge into some wood chips or onto some grass or sand, mat, anything you got available, or we're going to be doing this pushing off something to help us pop up higher. So just keep that in mind. Once you're landing a little higher and you're feeling comfortable, you're not landing too hard, softly, upright a little more, then it's time to start adding in the arms. So the arms, you have two options. Number one is you swing the leg you're jumping off of, you swing that arm back with that leg, and then you pull the other arm across, kind of like you're punching or doing like, hi-ho, you know, with the arm, but little haymaker across. The other one's pulling back like you're pulling back on a row. Right, but ideally straight and straight, and then you can pull it in tight like this. And this is all a timing thing. You have to work on your timing, which will get better with time. The other version is to swing both arms back and then wrap them around. Now, even if you do this version, your body will naturally start to turn it more toward this just because it has to in order to spin. Um, but you just saw, we landed a quarter turn. That felt good. Then we went into doing a half turn. That's feeling good. Now we're gonna start adding the arms to clean it up. Don't miss out on your height. Don't miss out on your flip. Squeeze tight, use the arms, it'll make it easier. As you can see, I need to be working on my shape a little bit, so you can always clean it up. And I'm gonna have a tutorial out soon, uh, within the next couple of weeks, showing how to work on your form and how you can put that into your training system so that that way you can do both that and work on new skills at the same time. It's hard to work on form when you're doing a new skill because you're so focused on not landing on your face that you can't think about the form too much. But at the same time, you focus on the form, you might not land on your face. But it doesn't always happen, right? You might have a super high floaty um, front Webster, but not flip. And uh, instead of, and so you twist well, but then you just don't make it over. So just like we talked about before, focus on the flip, get the twisting down. It can land a little ugly. Then add in the arm second. And then after that, you're gonna focus on developing the form. All right, here's the same approach with the same type of takeoff. This one's geared toward the Webster. And uh, we're doing this um, off of something high, going to something low. So I'm going to take some slow motion videos of that. You can see how the correlation's there. Please watch it. Just remember that you're dropping down from something, so you don't want to over-rotate in that sense. Now for the Capoeira aerial one, uh, the beach twist style one. Uh, this one, you're gonna have a little training tool, some training wheels. First of all, you're gonna have something that's a little bit off the ground. So this is about a foot off the ground. And I have a little bit of drop on the other side. You don't have to have a drop, but it will help with this. Uh, first, I want you just to do your uh, either B kick, but try to invert it more, so make it more upside down. That means you have to drop your head down below your leg if possible, and then kick your foot over the top. And then if you already know how to do the Capoeira style aerial, then what I want you to do is use your hands to help you with this one. So you're going to be going sideways like that. You can even come a little bit to the front like that, which is fine. And the next thing you're gonna do 
is when you feel yourself come off your hands, you are going to try and do a quarter twist. I'm having you do it this way because this is a lot harder to teach this twisting one, doing a quarter twist this way on flat ground. Usually people just go straight for the full aerial twist from these setups because you can't land the same way with this style. So after you push off here, when you push off, you're gonna pull your arms in tight, squeeze your legs together, squeeze everything as tight as you can, and you're gonna try and do a quarter turn. You'll probably end up facing that way. You're gonna end up facing uh, that direction because you're starting off this way, so you're gonna end up facing that way at the end. So you're gonna go here and you turn, okay? Again, here, turn. You, pull, you push off, you pull in tight. That's it. Next step, you're gonna do a little bit farther. So we're gonna end up facing that way. So here, and then you turn and face this direction. Okay, pretty simple. Finally, same thing, push off, try to turn around and face this way. From here, turn around and face the other direction. That's how you start building it. Then you do that whole thing again with one arm. Okay, this way, over. Then, I face that way. And you're gonna be pulling this arm across to help you with your twist. So from here, I kind of pull it across my body to help me. I go a little farther, turn myself around, and then finally, all the way around facing this way, getting tired. So I'm going here, trying to turn myself around. I think you get the idea. The reason why I'm having you use one arm is because when you transfer to doing the one leg push, you're not gonna have your arms. So you're gonna have to learn to build that twist with just your arms in the air and your legs and hips versus the pushing off uh, the wall. So next part being, if you do have that twist already pretty well, you can actually progress through this whole thing that we just did, doing the Capoeira style aerial without the hands and go into it slowly through it or if you're already doing that really well, pushing off with both hands and turning, you're probably gonna be fine with this skill. You really will be. So you have to make sure that you have a strong aerial first, your Kapawita style aerial or inverted B kick, and there'll be separate tutorials for those eventually. But make sure you have those strong, then go through the quarter rotation thing we just did. Try to do it with one arm as well, clean up your form, and then instead of pushing off here, I'm gonna start on top. And I'm going to go in my Kapawita style aerial. And I'm going to turn around and do a half twist. <laughs> Let's do that one again. So I'm just kicking the leg over, pulling the arms through like I did before, rowing, punching, or whatever you mowing the lawn and hee hawing the front, right? That's going to get you over. Clean up your form. I actually prefer to do, um, if I'm going to run into the skill, I'll do like a hybrid of the two where I run forward and then I will kind of come to the side a little bit and then pull up and over. And that helps me a lot with uh, getting good height and my shape and everything. But if I just feel like being lazy, I usually do the Kapawita style aerial one just because it doesn't take as much height for me to be able to spin still. And it's easier to twist that one. So that's all I got for you. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please like it. Give me a comment. Tell me what kind of video you would like to see from here. Stay tuned, subscribe, and y'all have a great day.